Hello class, welcome to our mathematics class. And for this lesson, we will be discussing multiplication of polynomials using distributive method or property. Let's say we have here 5 times the quantity 6a minus 8. So we will be distributing 5 to each term of the binomial. So we have now 5 times 6a minus or plus rather 5 times negative 8 so if you can notice we just distribute 5 to 6a and we have 5 to negative 8 so like that okay let's evaluate each term 5 times negative 8 and 5 times negative 6a is 30a plus 5 times negative 8 is negative 40 now, if you are in a situation wherein the plus sign and the negative sign is beside or are beside each other, you will choose the negative sign. So, the final answer is 30A minus 40. Okay? So, that is our final answer. Next, let's say we have number 2. Let's say we have number 2 is 8 times the quantity 5V plus 7 so again distribute we have now equals 8 times 5v plus 8 times 7 okay so we have now 8 times 5b is 40v plus 8 times 6 is 56 so that is our final answer okay next number three we have 2x plus v plus 5 and 3x plus 4 so we have now the quantity 2x plus 5 times the quantity 3x plus 4 so if you are going to use foil method we have now okay so first term or first terms outer terms inner terms and last terms okay so for the first terms we are refer referring or referring to the first terms of each binomial so we have now 2x times 3x okay next outer terms so we are referring to the two terms outside each binomial or two terms um, the first term of the first binomial and the last term of the second binomial so we have now 2x times 4 Next, for the inner terms, we have the inner terms 5 and 3x, 5 times 3x. And then for the last terms of each binomial, we have 5 and 3x. So we have last terms 5 and 4 so we have now 5 times 4 so let's multiply each of the foil so we have now for the first terms we have 2x times 3x that is 6x squared we have also 2x times 4 we have 8x we have 5 times 3x is equal to 15x and we have 5 times 4 is 20 okay so for the final answer we will combine 4 or the foil method so we have now equals 6x squared plus 8x plus 15x plus 20. So, if we observe our answer, 
we have similar terms which are 8x and 5x. So, we need to combine that by adding. So, let's add. We have now 6 is 6x squared plus 8 plus 5, 8x plus 15x is 23x plus 20. So, that is our final answer. Actually, for number 3, we have another way of um, getting the solution for number 3 by using distributive method. So, let's say we have again that the quantity 2x plus 5 times the quantity 3x plus 4. So, by distributive method, we distribute 2x to each term of the binomial or, or the second of binomial. We have now equals 2x times 3x plus 2x times 4. Okay? Then next, we have distribute 5 to each term of the second binomial. We have now plus 5 times 3x plus 5 times 4. Okay, so evaluate each term. We have now 2x times 3x is 6x squared plus 2x times 4 is 8x plus 5 times 3x is 15x plus 5 times 4 is 20. Again, we have combined terms or like terms rather, sorry. And we have now 6x squared squared plus 23x plus 20 okay so if you can notice we got the same answer if you use foil method and distributive method so we call this one distributive property or by using distributive property okay because this one is by using foil method okay so now let's proceed to number four number four five v minus six or the quantity five v minus 6 times the quantity 3v minus 5 okay so by foil method or let's say we use distributive distributive method okay so we have now 5v times 3v plus 5v times negative 5 okay and then again plus negative 6 negative 6 times 3v plus negative 6 times negative 5 okay so evaluate its each term we have now 5v times 3v is 15v squared plus 5v times negative 5 is negative 25v plus negative 6 times 3v is negative 18 V plus negative 6 times negative 5 is positive 30 okay so again we have similar terms so we have now 15 V squared plus negative 43 V plus 30 so again we will be using negative 
So we have now 15 v squared minus 43 v plus 30. Okay, so that is our final answer. Next, for number 5, the quantity 7x plus v times the quantity x plus 4. Okay, by distributive method, we have now 7x times x and plus 7x times 4 plus 5 times x plus 5 times 4 okay so next we have 7x squared from 7x times x plus 28x plus 5x plus 20 okay like terms again so combine we have now 7x squared plus 33 x plus 20 so that is our final answer okay next number six for number six we have r squared minus 7r plus 1 times the quantity 4r minus 4. Okay, distributive method again. Equals, we have r squared times 4r plus r squared times negative 4. So, it's like that and then okay next plus negative 7 R times 4 R plus negative 7 R times negative 4 so distribute okay next plus 1 times 4r plus 1 times negative 4 okay so we distribute 1 to each term of the binomial so now let's evaluate per term r squared times 4r is 4r raised to 3 plus r squared times negative 4 is negative 4 r squared plus negative 7 r times 4 r is negative 28 r plus negative 7 r times negative 4 is negative 28 r plus 4 r because 1 times 4 r is 4 r plus 1 times negative 4 is negative 4 next we have now or we should now combine like terms so we have here 4 r cube plus by the way this should be okay negative 28r okay so that is negative 28r so negative 4r squared plus negative 28r squared is negative 32r squared plus we have negative 28r plus 4r we have now negative 24r plus negative 4 so again we have here final answer we have 4r cube that is positive and negative so we use negative or minus 32r squared again 
we have now minus 24R and then we have minus 4. So that is our final answer. Okay, next number is number 7. For number 7, we have the quantity 2k squared plus 6k minus 5 times the quantity 3k plus 5. Okay, so we have now 2k squared times 3k squared or 3k only plus 2k squared times 5 okay so i just distribute the first term of the trinomial to each term of the binomial next plus plus 6k times 3k plus 6k times 5 okay so 6k times 3k and then 6k times 5 next we have plus negative 5 times 3k plus negative 5 times positive 5 or 5 okay so that is negative 5 to 3k and negative 5 to 5 okay next we have now 2k squared times 3k is 6k raised to 4 plus 2k squared 2k squared times 5 is t or 10 we have 10k squared plus 18k squared that is 6k times 3k plus 6k times 5 is 30k plus negative 5 times 3k is negative 15k plus negative 5 times 5 is negative 20 negative 25 okay now let's combine like terms so we have now 6k raised to 4 plus 28k squared plus 15k plus or just just have negative 25 so that is our final answer next number eight for number eight let's say we have b squared minus 5b minus 1 the quantity times the quantity 7b minus 2 okay so let's answer we have b squared times 7b plus b squared times negative Okay, plus negative 5b times 7b plus negative 5b times negative 2 plus negative 1 times 7b plus negative 1 times negative 2. Okay, next we have. 7b cubed plus negative 2b squared 
plus negative 35b squared okay plus 10b plus negative 7b plus 2 combine like terms we have now equals 7b cubed plus negative 37b squared plus 3b plus Okay, so for the final answer, we have now 7B raised to 3 plus, or should I say we have 7B raised to 3 minus 37B squared plus 3B plus 2. So that is our final answer. By the way, I just want to correct something on number 7. So, since this is 2 and raised to 1, this should be 6k raised to 3. Okay, so if you got 6k raised to 3 plus 28k raised to 2, plus 15k minus 25 so that is the correct answer okay so let's proceed to number number 9 for number 9 let's say we have 7 n squared the quantity 7n squared minus 8n plus 6 times the quantity 6n squared minus 3n plus 3. So we have now a longer solution for this. We have equals 7n squared times 6n squared plus 7n squared times negative 3n plus 7n squared times 3. So, we distribute 7n squared to 6n squared, 7n squared to negative 3n, and 7n squared to 3. Okay, next. Plus. negative 8n times times 6n squared plus negative 8n times negative 3n plus negative 8n times 3 okay so negative 8n to 6n squared negative 8n to negative 3n negative 8n to 3 okay next plus 6 times 6n squared plus 6 times negative 3n plus 6 times 3 okay 6 to 6n squared 6 to negative 3n and 6 to 3 okay so let's evaluate we have now equals 7n squared times 6n squared is 42 n raised to 4 plus 7n squared times 3n is 21 and raised to 3 negative okay plus 
7 and squared times 3 is 21 and raised to 2 plus negative 8n times 6 and squared is negative 48 and raised to 3 plus negative negative 8n times negative 3n is we have 24n plus negative 8n times 3 is 24n negative plus 6 times 6n squared is 36n squared plus 6 times negative 3n is negative 8n plus 6 times 3 is 18 okay so now let's finalize our answer we have um, we have to arrange the terms according to the degree of each term so we have now 42 and raised to 4 plus negative 21 and raised to 3 plus negative 48 and raised to 3 okay so we write next every term with n raised to 3 and then next will be every term with n raised to 2 okay plus 21 n raised to 2 or n squared plus 36 n raised to 2 or 36 n squared next is each term with n only so let's choose another color for that let's say yellow or pink okay and then okay so let's write plus 24n plus negative 24n and plus negative 18n of course next is our constant let's choose another color so we have here 18 so plus 18 now if you can notice we just arrange the terms according to the exponents of each term okay so let's check if we write everything let's use another color let's say red okay so 4n squared check we have 21 4 and squared 21 and raised to 3 negative 21 and raised to 3 negative 48 and raised to 3 positive or plus 21 and squared plus 36 and squared plus 24 n plus negative 24 n plus negative 18n and then our 18 okay now next step is combining like terms okay so like terms here are negative 21n cube and negative 48n cube negative 21n squared and or positive 21 n squared plus 36 n squared 
and then we have another twenty four n plus negative twenty four n plus negative eighteen n okay now let's combine like terms we have now forty two n raised to four plus negative 69 n raised to 3 so for this like terms and then we have plus so for this terms plus 40 or 57 n raised to 2 or n squared and then this one so we have now plus negative 18n okay so plus 18 so because 24n plus negative 24n is 0 this is 0 okay next um, let's have our final answer so we have now 42n raised to 4 minus 69n raised to 3 plus 57 n raised to 2 minus 18 n plus 18 so that is our final answer okay so let's have another example number 10 for number 10, let's say we have the quantity 6n squared minus 2n plus 7 times the quantity 2n squared minus 3n minus 8. Okay? So, distribute. We have now 6n squared times 2 n squared plus 6 n squared times 3 n plus 6 n squared times negative 8 okay next plus negative 2 n times 2 n squared plus negative 2 n times negative 3 n plus negative 2n times negative 8 okay next plus 7 times 2n squared plus 7 times negative 3n plus 7 times negative 8 okay now let's evaluate each term equals 6n squared times 2n squared is 12n squared plus 6n squared times negative 3n is negative 18n raised to 3 plus 6n squared times negative 8 is negative 48. Negative 48n squared. Okay. Plus negative 2n times 2n squared is negative 4n raised to 3 plus negative 2n times negative 3n is positive 6n squared okay next plus negative 2n times negative 8 is 16n okay next plus 
7 times 2n squared is 14. 14n 14n squared plus negative 21n plus negative negative 56 okay so now let's arrange again so we have equals so okay let uh we have here correction again correction let's use yellow um 6n squared is or 6n squared times 2n squared is 12n raised to 4 so this is 4 okay so let's arrange now each term so we have 12 n raised to 4 plus negative 18 n raised to 3 um, then plus negative 4 n raised to 3 plus negative 48 n raised to 2 plus 6 n raised to 2 plus 14 n raised to 2 plus 16 n plus negative 21 n plus 56 or negative 50 6 okay next combine like terms we have now equals 12 n raised to 4 plus negative 22 n raised to 3 plus negative 42 n raised to 2 oh by the way uh, we have here three three like terms rather so negative 48 n squared plus 6n squared plus 14n so we have negative 48 plus 6 is negative 42 negative 42 plus 14 is negative 28 okay so we have now negative 28n squared next plus 16 n plus negative 21 n is we have negative 5 n then plus negative 56 next for the final answer we have 12 n raised to 4 minus 22 n raised to 3 minus 28 n raised to 2 minus 5 n minus 56 so that is the final answer okay next number 11 for number 11 we have 7 x minus 4 y times the quantity 7x plus 4y okay 
So, let's answer first by using distributive. Distributive property. Okay. So, we have now 7x times 7x plus 7x times 4y. Plus 7x negative 4y rather times 7x plus negative 4y times 4y. So we have now 49x squared plus 28xy plus negative 28xy plus negative 16y squared. So, combine like terms. Negative or positive or we have 28xy plus negative 28xy that would be 0. So, we have now our final answer as 49 x squared minus 16y squared so that is our final answer okay so let's try solving again number 11 by using a pattern or a simple technique or a shortcut okay so if you can notice in number 11 it is a product of the sum and the difference of two terms or the difference and the sum of two binomials okay so let's say we have here 7x minus 4y minus 4y times the quantity 7x plus 4y okay so the pattern here or the shortcut here is just multiply or square the first term 7x squared squared minus square square of the last term okay so that would be equals 49 x squared minus 16 y squared final answer okay let's try another example let's say we have number 12 number 12 is 5 x plus 2y and then 5x minus 2y again sum and difference of two binomials so copy the first term 5x you square that okay get the square of the first term minus get the square of the second term which is 2y okay so that would be 5x squared is 25x squared minus 2y squared is 4y squared so that is our final answer okay another example number 13 for number 13 we have 3 u minus 7v times 3u plus 7v okay difference and sum of two binomials or a binomial okay now let's evaluate we have now equals what is our first term 3u right so copy first term 3u and then square okay minus what is our second term 
7V. Okay? So, now, copy the second term. Okay? So, we have here minus 7V and get the square of the second term. We have now 9U squared minus 49V squared. Final answer. Okay? Let's have another example here beside number 13. So, let's say we have here x plus 2 times x minus 2. Okay? What is our first term? x. So, get the square of first term minus what is our second term? 2. So, get the square of the second term. We have now x squared minus 4. Okay? Clear? Okay, next, number 14. For number 14, we have 8x plus y squared. So, by using, again, distributive, distributive property, we will be having equals 8x plus y times 8x plus y. Okay? It's like 2 squared is equal to 2 times 2. Right? Okay. Now, 8x times 8x 8x times y plus 8x times y next plus y times 8x plus y times y okay so we have now to evaluate each term we have 8x times 8x is 64x squared plus 8x times y is 8xy plus y times 8x is 8xy plus y times y is y squared. Okay, combine like terms. We have now 64x squared plus 16xy plus y squared. So, that is our final answer. Okay, now let's have the shortcut method. Okay, or the easier method. Again, for number 14. For number 14, we have 8x plus y squared. Okay, remember that our first term is 8x, right? And our second term is y. Okay, so if you can notice, this is a square of a binomial. So for the square of a binomial, let's say we have x plus y squared. So get the first term and square it or square the first term plus 2 then first term times second term plus get the square of the second term okay so that is now x squared plus 2xy plus y squared now what if we have 8x plus y squared okay first term is 8x second term is y okay so get the square of the second term plus 2 
2 here is constant. Then get the first term, 8x. Get the y or the second term which is y plus get the second term and square it or get the square of the second term. So can you see the pattern? Square the first term plus 2 times the first term times the second term plus square of the second term. Okay? Next, we have now 8x squared is 64x squared plus 2 times 8 times y or 2 times 8x times y is 16xy. And then y is squared or y or square of the last term or square y is y is squared. So that is our final answer okay let's say we have another example which is x plus 10 squared okay again this uh, this is our first term and this is our second term okay now we have get the first term or get the square of the first term plus 2 times the first term times the second term plus get the square of the second term we have now x squared plus 2 times x times 10 we have 20x plus 100 Okay, because 10 squared is 100. Okay. Now, what if we have number 15, which is x minus 4y squared. Okay. So, square of the first term plus 2 times the first term times the second term plus the square of the second term okay so we have now x squared 2 times x times negative 4y is negative 8xy plus negative 16 or since that is negative 4y squared negative 4 times negative 4 is 16 so y times y is y squared so, for the final answer, we have x squared minus 8xy plus 16y squared. Okay, so that's all for multiplication of polynomials.